Welcome back to Nino Kuni. So yeah, part like, forty-five. Was... Come on. Fine. Part uh... forty-five. <laughs> Pedro, you really need to learn to um, number these things in audio. Yeah. Anyway, Marcus, one, come on. Guess what, your princeliness? We got all them stones. And look at that. Marcuson's wearing an out. outfit similar to his father. Yep. You have well, the more stars magic so. stones. So you recovered the map from Kublai. Well, yeah. More than that. That's right, your highness. Well, actually, he kind of gave it to us. <laughs> That's most Stun Orthodox. <laughs> Kublai helped you? The Sky Pirate? Oh, Marcus, you'd be surprised how awesome Sky Pirates can be. Yeah. Tron Boom. Just because they're pirates, pirates doesn't can... mean they act like pirates. He's not a bad sort, once you get to know him. He took us under his wing, like. He even gave us a dragon to fire on. To fire about on, sorry. So, Tidy, eh? So Mark Sassin is surprised. Is that well, how you uh, Mark Sassin? No, 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 no. Mark Sassin. I, I, I've, been, I've been pronouncing it Mark Sassin. Like Mark he's Sassin. an assassin, oh god. No, no, no. Don't worry, dude. Mark just... Sassin's Creed. <laughs> it's true, your highness. Tengri helped us find the three magic stones. Uh, we couldn't have done it without him. True. The problem now is how to stick the stones back into Morrenstar. And I would lie to you. We don't have the foggiest. Oh, well, why Can don't you just wish them to be smaller? <laughs> oh. Sorry, we're not a dragon ball. No, wait, I got an idea. We just need to enlarge our wand. Expand oh. your wand. <laughs> God. I'm kind of hoping you might be able to help this us. This is getting looter and looter every minute. Please, give me to the quote wand Aster, and the stones. To, to, I wish to, to, quote, to quote them. Aster Teo, is this really a good time for your loot comments? <laughs> oh, don't be so negative. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> hmm. This is rather a tricky one. So, um, It's easy, it's just pick them up and <laughs> mash it until it goes to them. <laughs> it's like when, uh, I, uh, I'm... Sorry, Go ahead. Oh, the stones are just too big, aren't they? Hey, Sorry. don't worry. Well, oh. so... <laughs> it's like when a trolley doesn't, doesn't close enough and you have to jump on it. Well, if it were a mere matter of unifying the sizes of the wand and the stones, my power would more than suffice. But I am afraid it is not only the dimensions that are out of alignment. There is another problem, one that I lack the ability to resolve. The script. I mean, um, the... Actually, the devs are going to explain, don't worry. Isn't this a time-traveling thing that we have to do? There you go. Very good, Shiro. Hang on a minute. Are you telling guys it ain't just the wonky says we have to worry about? It's never flippin' easy, is it? Never, no. creepy. Never. Ah, I think I've got it. Just wait a moment. When exactly did we get hold of Morningstar? Dun, 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 dun. It was when we were sent back to the past, which means... The... Very good, Esther. You got the right answer. You win a thousand dollars. We had to play um, the game that sucks ass. The problem may stem from attempting to join the Mornstar 15 years past with the stones you obtained here in the present. That's it, 15 years. I had forgotten about the exact so number. You got the right one at the wrong time. The stones just... Exactly. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> oh, go, oh my god, yes, I could do this now. Too late! Fifteen years too late. Mm -hmm. If you didn't get that reference, what's our Pixar? Actually, Joe, <laughs> I cut out, so we didn't know what you said. Yeah, sorry, Joe. <laughs> okay, I said, too late. Fifteen years too late. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, incredible. <laughs> So, anyway, the if point is, my recording, that's going to sound awkward since I had to repeat that. That's okay, we'll use mine. Uh, anyway, uh... This is from the past, so surely it makes sense that it doesn't exist in the present as well. Or okay. maybe it does. Maybe there's actually just a time conundrum going on here. Remember, uh, Shadar destroyed the wand in the present, so obviously... Time conundrum. Oh, yeah. Leaves. Wait. What? what? We can hear you. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's just, uh, this solution, while it's decent... It's hold decent. on, hold on, this is all getting a bit 
two flipping complicated for me. Wait, I've said got every an idea. single per- said every single person in the first fifteen minutes of Final Fantasy fourteen ever. <laughs> there may be one who can help you. A man named Jack from Quantum Break. He can up game the system I'm trying to go. I speak of Kulan, uh, one of the Kulan. great sages. Her magical powers were the most formidable. Mm. So if we can find the great sage Kulan, then she can help us with Morinstar. So we have to find the great sage whose name, honestly, to me, sounds like the name of an Indian restaurant. What? Kulan <laughs> sounds Indian to you? <laughs> Come <laughs> on, Dwiz. The Queen of the Heavens, right? She ruled a city in the clouds called Xanadu. Insert, re- insert reference here. They call it Xanadu. So we need to steal destroyed. some batteries from them. Sadly, though, it was destroyed. Jeepers! Her city was destroyed? That's what I just told you, you idiot. I mean, uh, young child. Can it really be five years ago? Yes, it must be five years ago. News reached us that Shadar had attacked the Celestial Citadel of Xanadu. Now I'm, I'm going to sing it every single time someone mentions Xanadu. By the time we mustered our forces, it was too late. When Hammond's airborne divisions arrived, Xanadu had been wiped from the map. Wait, maybe they just atlantis their way out of it and disappeared. <laughs> I am afraid I do not know what, become of, what became of its queen and her subjects, but... Perhaps, if you are it, lucky... It, Shadar destroyed everything by using Meteor, and Hold the only on. survivor was an immortal called Kaim Argonar. That's... Ah, that chance. It sounds like Shadar dealt with them just like he dealt with your predecessor. S- Swain, please. In any case, it's not within my power to help you. For that, I can only apologize. Hmm. Hmm. Don't worry, Your Majesty. There must be another way. Hmm. Gotta we could positive. do what the dragon did. We could do what the dragon did and have someone eat the stones and use the power from there. Well, if we can't find Kulan, I guess we'll have to try another great sage. Unfortunately, Oliver, we kind of ran out of great sages. Another? Well, Alicia is no longer with us, which leaves only Rashad. Esther's father. Yes, my father is sure to know something. Hmm. Swain doesn't look optimistic about that. He looks depressed. Well, if you went on an entire life-threatening venture only to find out that the artifacts you found could very well be useless, I think you'd be a bit bummed too. Your father. Oh, now I see where you get your wisdom. Yes, Rashad may well be able to help you. All right, so basically Rashad is our only hope. Thank you, Your Majesty. And he's out in the desert. Long ago, in a new country, long, long, far away. We're not going to find anything out by hanging around here by swapping, swapping compliments. Let's go. Sure, let's go find somebody who can help us. They're out there somewhere. I just know they are somewhere out oh, there. Don't worry, I won't um, sing it like the kids did. And now, for convenience sake, suddenly there's a teleporter here to teleport us out of the palace. Oh, yes, Thanks, I, uh, I just had that uh, installed. It, you never know when that may come in handy. Oliver, uh, 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 Trippy, how did that teleport thing get here? The programmers put it there for our convenience, Ollie boy. Look at her. Anyway, yeah. anyway now, uh, now here, uh, here's a, an interesting sudden turn. A oh, ghost. Oops. That's not the type of armor you find around these parts. There's no snout for starters. I thought those days were long since past. Now that the prince is back up on his. Never mind. Hmm. I sure is something strange about her. Tubbs, are you strangling a? Duck? I... No, no, it's, 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 this, it's this method I've got. It's just a little bit uncomfortable on the ears, is all. Mm, what does all it right. Is she a friend of yours? What you need, my friend, are bigger outer headphones like my headset. That makes it more comfy. 
<sighs> yeah, we go way back. But seriously, it's that armor she's wearing. It's I to... hate, I hate metal. Actually, I'm, <laughs> remember, I'm, it's what they wore in Zenidu. Remember, I actually am part of the royal family, so I know this shit. <laughs> you what? You what, mate? But I thought Xanadu was destroyed! I lied. Well, what? so she's a survivor, is she? That's lucky. Come on, Ollie boy. Let's find out what your, your, our girl's got to say for herself. Fortunately, we have uh, Spirit Medium as our spell. True, that's right. Oh, I'll tell you when you come again. Hmm. Alright, let's see where these little takes us. Uh... Alright, Java, go ahead. Can it be? Can you. Can you see me? Yes. Fortunately, we're spirit beings, we, and we don't need Maga Thomas to do it. <laughs> you see, we see dead people, but they don't even know that they're dead. Of course we can. Why wouldn't we be able to? Oh, this is marvelous! And you can hear me, too! She's a wandering spirit who's been trying to communicate to people, I guess. Hopefully she hasn't ended up spooking someone in the process. Well, if that... Uh, m oh, hold on. Yes. Mm. Sure, we can hear you, but we're using spirit medium to speak to you. So it must mean... You're dead. You are correct. I lost my life some time ago. And you are the first to notice my presence. Hmm. So she probably lost um, her life when Shadar went all ape shit on Xanadu. But yep. she's here though, which means she must have lost her life somewhere around here. Wait, well, we were travels. Well, we were going to miss you in that get up. Where uh, were we? So oh, you came from Xanadu, did you? Indeed. The Celestial Kingdom of Xanadu was my home. I was charged with protecting our queen. The kingdom is full of ukas, these weird, fucked up chickens that have human faces. But Shadar destroyed Xanadu, didn't he? So I guess you... um... Seriously, what the fuck was up with that design? <laughs> the ukas from Twilight Princess, I mean. Yeah. No, I did not fall in battle. Uh, okay. <laughs> and I did not fall to a chime of the Ring of the Bell either. That's good to know. That will be I something. was... I was slain by a comrade. A fellow citizen of Xanadu. Oh, Yikes. shit. Hmm. Betrayed. 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 <laughs> good old Superman 4. For some reason, we always will never forget that. How can you forget it? Know. Anyway, it all done with a tragic backstory. Is tragic. What you said was correct. Shadar did indeed lay waste to my home. Probably because they were powerful. Usually, when a when civilization is powerful, Shadar will probably just take them out in general instead of just uh, subduing them. Well, yeah. he actually did it in general, even to the weaker beings, just to spread despair and lose of hope. The fiend made his way into the inner sanctum of the palace, unnoticed by anyone. So basically, he, there was a spy who. Did Our something. magic had no effect on him. Even the mighty sorcery of Queen Kulan was useless. Hmm, that's a pretty crappy queen, if you ask me. More or like a bro is that powerful. More like He's a too OP. More like yeah. a two up two two OP. Uh, please nerf for the patch. <laughs> please oh. nerf God. But we heard she had the most powerful magic <laughs> of all great sages. Again, this also helps uh, understanding the scope of Al Shadar. Powerful. Nonetheless, it was of no use. She too was powerless against him. But Shadar did not take our lives. No, he robbed us of something. Yeah, it, it's it, yeah. Like I've like I've been saying, like uh, when it comes to Shadar being, you 
know, people are always afraid of him and how powerful he is in comparison to every other wizard and stuff like that. He, he It's a very clear parallel to Voldemort in general. He stole our hearts. He took the hearts of all who dwelled in our city. Which... Does Siddhar have no nose? Uh... Well, well it, as of right now, as well, as of right now, as far as we can tell, he doesn't even have a face. So he, he stole all of your hearts. Yes, he stole all of my hearts, and I only have three. I'm back to square one. Ah, the heartless oh, blackguard. Unless you're like in Skyward Sword, where you start with six. Indeed, <laughs> and without yeah. hearts to call our own, we lacked emotion. We lacked reason. Yes, we made a pact with the devil. In basically, to give you guys an idea, in Breath of the Wild, there's these evil statues who basically, where you basically make a pact with the devil, and they, in trade for more power, you can give them one of your heart containers. That kind of reminds me of the Binding of Isaac, actually. Yeah, it's probably a reference to that. Yeah. And that was how it came to pass that. Oh, you said enough. We can imagine when that happened then. That's right, Believe Siddhar me. stealing their hearts actually made them turn on each other. He probably took away their uh, kindness. He took away their kindness, their restraint, their everything, and basically their, they... Their emotion. Basically, dwebs, they kind of pulled yes. a happening, only instead of it being suicide, it was mass murder on everyone else. And it was a wizard instead of plan, so... And pretty much the society <laughs> decimated itself. What happened that day? <laughs> I'll never forget. So what you're saying? So what? Well, hold on, Joba. So what you're saying is, Shadar? Shadar is affecting them. That's yeah. so horrible to be killed by one of your own people. I'm so just sorry. A, just a second. I'm talking to a plastic puppet. Do not pity me. <laughs> That's My not the people part I'm still have hope. I'm, I'm a second right here. Why can everybody give me a goddamn second? Okay, then I just think. <laughs> oh, what do you mean? Uh, Hold on. The Queen of the Heavens. She lives still. Kulan cool, um, survived. Dun yeah, dun yeah. dun. Kula survives this. She does. Ding. But we thought that. Let me guess. She killed her. Now that I dwell in the spirit realm. I can feel her presence. I can sense my queen's power. Basically, there were a couple of ones who managed to escape, including the queen, and we're going. And we've actually been to that to their hiding place yet, thanks to the to Tangri. But we couldn't remember that guard, that douchebag guard played by Wibbs, who wouldn't let us in. Yeah. It's right there. Mm -hmm. For years, I have searched for her without cease. I sense her presence somewhere to the north of here, but I sense something hence. else too. An evil so terrible, I fear to approach it. Double hmm. I think I was originally planning on Shiro voicing this woman as well. North of here? Do you mean tomb Tombstone Trail? Uh, a little more nor to north than that, Esther. Um, the... Heaven, mm, heaven, maybe highway. Time was there were other kingdoms on this continent, yep. not only heaven and the old town or two. So yeah, basically, when you get right down to it, the world of Nino Kuni, at this one at least, I'm not, I don't know how it's going to be in Revenant Kingdom. Uh, the world of Nino Kuni is kind of a world that has recovered from a post-apocalyptic state. I yeah, call fun it... fact, if, if you open the Wizard Companion, we actually have pages describing the Xanadu. It's culture and having actual image of reference how the town, town, the place looked like before it was destroyed. Nant. But you yeah. don't see anything yeah, on the war map. Nant. It, that mm. shit's gone. Not entirely post-apocalyptic, but definitely war raped. War raped to all heck. And no. remember, they're living in a, Until Oliver comes around, they're living in a climate of constant terror from Shadar itself because they don't know what they will do next. So it's uh, kind of like the world of Harry Potter between books five through well, seven. Well, kind of more, kind of more like with even more tension because yeah. with Harry Potter, you know what it goes like for the 
first book. So. That's why I don't. That's why I don't get the complaints that people say the later Harry Potter books are too dark. Um, they're under the rule of the Dark Lord, and the darkness is creeping in. Of course, it's getting a bit dark. Not, not just that. Not just that. I mean, while it well, I, I can't speak for the My books. My only complaint is the color scheme getting darker. Other than that, they're staying true to the book, except for six. But then again, six sucks across all forms of media. But yeah, my only main issue is the lack of color in the later films. Obviously, I can't speak for the um, for the books. I can only speak for the movies. But honestly, even if, if even I would argue, even Philosopher's Stone can get pretty dark at points. Honestly, yeah. And don't even get me started on Chamber of Secrets or Prisoner of Azkaban. You know yeah, the one well, with yeah, the mentor. Yeah, yeah. Well, the fire. All the movies, shall we? I mean, I mean, God to the Fire in particular, that scene where um, we finally see Voldemort, um, like that, where where he even uh, makes that thing t to... There's like a thing going on there. Yeah, a torture scene. That's pretty fucking dark, if you ask me. <clears throat> anyway. It was damaged by the fire that swept for Rome. The Great Fire brought by the Great Witch Bazella. Oh. <laughs> well, hey, well, hey, well, hey. Well, hey, well, hey, it only left a bit of remaining proof of their city. Fitz. Sure, leave it to us. So, yeah, we have. To, she gave us that particular uh, thing that she has, that uh, has the emblem, which proves that um, we're familiar with her, at least. There's enough chit chat for now. It's time to scout Autumnia for uh, Perdida, which I is the city that they're at right now. I thought that said Ultimata for a second. And since we've already gone there, we can just instantly travel, fast travel there. Uh, Oliver, man, could you please, please tell me when you're about to do that? I'm getting dizzy. Really? I thought it was riding Tangri that made you dizzy, Mr. Drippy. Both kinds do, alright? Especially if you teleport with no flipping warning, man. Well... Sorry, I thought you'd be used to it by now. Uh, do I observe the douchebag guard? Teleportation, Who goes yeah. Oh, I see you are not from these parts. How very observant of you. Listen, we'd love to stay in chat, but we've got things to do. Pedro. So, peace off. Pedro. <laughs> what? There's what? a sparkling pot over there. I'm sure that's not a pickup at all. I'm sure that's not a pickup at all. Okay, gotta get it, gotta get it, gotta get it. By a higher power. No, no, no. I, 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 I'm more distracted by that llama there, because trust me, that fucking llama, that yeah. llama has a bottomless hole for a stomach. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I cannot yeah. like to disturb the peace. See, sorry, mister. We didn't know, but we're not here to disturb anything. Basically, to give you guys an idea, since I'm actually sure in this playthrough, that particular llama um, has a side quest for you. And he wants to try all these various dishes from all over the world. And he keeps asking for more and more and more and more and more. But he does give you cool items for each meal you give him, so there's that. Oh, so it's kind of like uh, your the senseless meal. witterings. I will not let you pass. <sighs> Can I at least smash that jar over there? No. It might have some rubies in it. No! Let me smash. I have important matters to attend to. The sacred ceremony is about to begin, and Queen Kulan will not be kept waiting. What the Hang on. Did you just did you just say Queen Kulan? Ding ding ding. It's our word after. Uh Drippy, that makes it sound like we're here to kidnap her. Aha, just as I thought. You intend to harm our queen. Well you shall not do so while I draw breath. Uh, Hashtag sir, thanks, Drippy. Not to mention, but I'm kind of over leveled for you. No, you've got it all wrong, mister. We just want to speak to her. That's what they all say. That's what he says. You've pissed me off. Nothing Somebody to told us she she was still alive. The person who gave us this medal. You didn't even give me anything, you moron. You just stuck your hand in there and tried to hand me something that wasn't in your hand. But, but, but how? Yes. Tell me, where did you find this? We met a lady in Hamlin. She was wearing armor just like yours. Yes, yeah, sure. Next you're going to be telling me oh, you met a frog wearing the same armor as me. No, but I met a frog wearing weird clothes all the same, who turned out to be a prince. Be? Is she here now? Well, this is not the rock from Calvocative cartoon comedy, at least. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. No, she was the she wouldn't travel north. I reckon she had enough on her plate already. We're gonna being have dead to all. commentate on Drippy. that, aren't we? I don't know. I can't, 
I don't know. I kind of, I kind of, I kind of like that um, th that frog one, honestly. You like Could it be cartoon true? cavalcade comedy? Not, not all of them, mind you. I, but I, but there were a couple that I did enjoy, honestly. I guess I actually do kind of have a soft spot for the rover and Wally. I like Coyote the one with one. Wally Coyote. I, I like the one where Wally Coyote finally gets Roadrunner. Yeah, me too. I'll admit to that one. I feared she had not escaped, but I cannot allow my feelings to come before my duty. However, Tell the me, one with Quentin. What business Tur have you with the Queen? However, the one with Quentin Tarantino can screw off. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. There's something we need to ask her. Uh, I see. Well, I will let you pass, but I am afraid you may be out of luck. I could have told you this earlier, but... It's Not just dick, that, so. Oliver. Ah. You could have been a bit more specific. Jure? Right? Oh, what? You mean we can't see Queen Kula? Because I'm Queen Kulada. No, no she's actually invisible. I fear she will have no time for you now. Did I not say that she is preparing to preside over the sacred ceremony? Oh for the time being, take a look around the town and see how it has blossomed since receiving the blessing of the Queen of the Heavens. Royal Bia but Take a look at how awesome our city is. <laughs> there we go. Until the plot tells you, at least. Ugh. If I'm right, I like this. If I have to talk to them for one minute. Perdida. Ha! Ah, the Lost Land, of course. Basically, uh, for those who don't know, Perdida is actually. Uh, a, that mean, It means exactly that. Lost. In a yeah. lot of languages, including mine, I'm guessing Teo's, and. Uh, um... No, the pronunciation is different, but it's similar. You know, ah, if, okay. they if they switch the letters a bit and call it peri Peridia. Perdida. I can make a Steven Universe. The correct, yeah. the, correct the correct pronunciation, at the very least in my language, would be Perdida. Yeah, with the accent on the E. I, so, Paradox, so Paradox got bored and built Oh, well, would you look at that! There's a motel here, even though people even though people normally aren't welcome here. A petty cake! Hey, guys, yeah, I found a petty cake! What you mean, Roger Rabbit? So, Pedicake. Pedro, question. Yes. Is it marked, is it marked with B? Pedro, question. <laughs> yes, go ahead. Why is there a motel here where visitors aren't normally welcome? <laughs> well, Dweebs, you never, sorry, Drova, you never know when someone may appear. Okay. Not just that, but, um... What if you have a foreign dignitary coming over or something? True. Wouldn't they stay in the palace? Also, yeah. not I thought the city was supposed to be... It's a JRPG town, it's supposed to have an inn, okay? I thought the city was supposed to be... Well, no well, well, the... well, look who's Hold here. on. Notice the subtlety of uh, the lack of music, at least for now. Yep. Yeah. Hey, Oris. All right, let's get ready. Spirit, oh, medium. Horus. Oh, it's you, Ollie. You must have a lot of time on your hands to climb all the way up here. You have no uh, idea. We have a lot of time in our hands, indeed. Well, we had a dragon to take us here. It must have been tough for you, though, huh? Well, he's a ghost, so I'm... Yeah. I'm he could just walk here. Hardly. One of the great things about being a ghost is that I can go pretty much anywhere. Ooh. Ooh. I'm spooky. Anyway, take a look at the words on this horde here. Uh, horde, sorry, board here. They're written in funny letters, <laughs> aren't they? <laughs> those are from the Savory Stone Age. This town is so remote, there are still traces of those times here. Indeed. Blimey. I can't make head nor tail of that monkey writing. I suppose they, uh, they do look a bit like Nazca, now that I think about it. Wow, Christ, and I, and I thought your language was hard to understand. To, 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 to take an expression from my country, man, that writing is so incomprehensible. He must be a great doctor. And speaking of Nazca, <laughs> it's been a while since I gave you something to decipher. I don't know how it is over there, Teo, but here we have a running gag about how Common Those people write for shit, yeah. No, well, I mean, I mean, they're, 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 hand they're, they're, the handwriting, the way they're, the handwriting itself, not the fact that they're like an educator. Yeah, 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 yeah that's what they mean, the, the handwriting. Yeah. There's a certain yeah. character that only appears in one location. My question is, where is it? Hmm. Hmm. Don't worry, this one isn't as hard as it sounds. Well, not quite. <laughs> when you work it out, let me know. All right, All right, let's uh -huh. try to let's try to solve this riddle then. All right, mysterious Portuguese man at the helm of controls, it's all in your hands now. 
What's Portuguese? Oh, it's a weird forgotten city. That's even more lost than Perdita. <laughs> yeah, I forgot, I forgot trope. What's um, that? Uh, what's the name of the trope where, uh, in a fantasy sci-fi setting, stuff that uh, us in the real world take from granted will be aliens? Uh, like, basically... for example, the Millennium Falcon, and you ask, "What the hell is a falcon?" Oh. Um, I believe that's about uh, the real world and fictional disparity. I think it is. Mia. What, what, what's this called in the United States oh. version? That's why it's called uh, Autumia in, in America as well. Also, Dweebs, have you seen those keyholes kind of like points on the maps? Uh, where you <laughs> see them? Yeah. They actually mean something. Anyway, uh, for those who missed it, um, there's various symbols uh, for every one of the various descriptions on the um, regions of the world section of the Wizard's Companion. And like uh, Aura said, there's only one symbol that does not get repeated uh, more than once. So find out. So basically check all of them, notice all the symbols, and find out which one only shows up once. Wait, wait, wait. What was one of the places called? Tahiti? Tahiti. Ha 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 ha! so fun. Such as Yes. All right. Spring ground. The Winter Isles. The Glittering Grotto, Yule, the Fairy Ground. I thought I said the Winter Isles for a second, as in this is the place you go to when you win the game. All right. Spring realm. Oh. The Lost Continent. So yeah, like like Teo said, like uh, you can discover quite a lot of background and lore from the various places in the world when you read um, the Wizard's Companion. There's a lot of uh, it, it works like, pretty much like a tour guide of sorts. Yeah. However, remember, since I've got the thing about but in good the... but, but uh, in a, in a good demonstration, you do not need to read any of this to understand the story. Oh, it's so perfectly optional. Thing, please, uh... Uh, since, as I mentioned, uh, it talks about uh, uh, the, um, the Xanadu Empire when it was still around, this also means that your wizard companion is technically, quote unquote, dated for the time. So it's not um, updated with the, the most recent information. That's why, for example, it's not talking about Shadar. Right. So we haven't got the updated autopsy report. Oh. I mean, um, the updated oh. map. Key. You've got all each Right. So that kind of any kind of is in the sixth next to Jabal al Dukan. Jabal al Dukan. <laughs> Dukan! It looks like you really gave me your way around the wizard's companion. I think that deserves a reward. Here, have a cookie. You the see veal it. spell. The veal spell is incredibly useful. So the moment you get to Perdida, immediately go here so you can solve this riddle. Because the veal spell makes you invisible to enemies on the map. And it, and it makes um, hunting for tokos much easier. Or grind better. Because if they can't sense you, they don't run away. Exactly. Um, can I ask you something? Do you know anything about a little island that has a monument with Nascan riding on it? Off in the sea to the west of the fairy ground, it is. Do you know the one we mean? Um, hmm. Let me think. West of the fairy ground. Hmm. Oh, I think there was a big battle there during the wizard wars. Of course there was. Fucking wizard wars. They ruin everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I'm sure there used to be a much bigger island there. Where can this new one have sprung from? Um, Glasgow? Not Glasgow, you idiots! Well, ma'am always told us fairies that she made all the islands run by there. Maybe she wasn't taking out of her, talking out of her head after all. No, somebody to... took somebody took the Master Emerald away from Angel Island again, and it just plummeted into this dimension. <laughs> yes. You... Uh, you're saying that it broke into several different islands, and we have to use the island radar to locate all the islands to put them back together into Angel Island? It's not, yes, it's not, that's it's exactly not... what I'm saying. It's or maybe she Roy. Uh, or maybe she right. It's because uh, once again, Knuckles um, took the Master Emerald with him on some kind of adventure, and because of that, the island got left there. I guess I don't know, since he, he seems to be a, a lot of out of his island in recent games. 
It's not anyway. Glasgow. What do you think we did? Did we take a school and move it to there? Well, I only mentioned it because of your accent you had there for a few seconds. Just I want to do a story, any Mark. How come you know all about the dead and distant past? Because I listened to my teachers in school. I told you, Pipsqueak. I'm the sage of ages. That's not a flippant answer. How old That's are you? Old. But it's all I can remember. I'm Horace, the sage of ages. Beyond that, your guess is as good as mine. Don't worry, we'll find out who exactly who he was uh, eventually. You really can't remember. I'm you. No, I'm kidding. Well, they <laughs> do look similar enough that that could be a potential thing, but yeah, you're right, that's I not it. I was certain that traveling the world would help bring back more of my memory, but now I'm not so sure. Sometimes I feel like it's all coming back to me, but then it just goes again. And then right back where I started. Well, you see, Horace, what you need to do is choose some heroic... Hey, or... I'm monologuing here. Well, what you need to do is find some heroic <laughs> and... Okay, shut up! <laughs> bah, who cares? What matters is I can go wherever I think, so I like, and see wherever I please. Why fret about a little thing like losing my memory? Oh, it's actually rather simple. All you need to well, do is do part... some heroic and well, dark missions. I guess it's a shame so. Shadow couldn't have had this attitude much earlier than he did. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I guess to be fair, his memories were kind of pressuring him enough, and hey, at least he I'll succeeded. And if I do remember something, you'll be the first to know. I'll be waiting back where we first met. Bye. He actually means those words. Uh, are you asking me out on a date? Bye for now. That's a no. No, no, I, <laughs> I don't want to. Stick, uh, stay true to the, the eight uh, spells you're only just now beginning to know. Who do you, who, who do you think I am? That asshole out of that nursery rhyme who who leads a wife on it, who leads a woman on to, to try to marry me to say that I already have a wife and steal all her granddad's clothes. I'm not that stupid. Anyway, see you for the next that? part. See you for the next part, everybody.